speaking about the economy and speaking about um, you know handling of the economy and everything else, let's just go into the first story. Government drops VAT on electricity set to engage IMF on revenue um, shortfall. Uh, well, I want to tie that in to Guta kicking against VAT on electricity and emissions levy. Okay, and then um, let me just tie that in together with the um, um, MPP national executives fallout with the Ekufuado government as they reject Ophiriate's unpopular emissions levy and VAT on electricity. So there's a number of you know angles to yeah. all of this, but <clears throat> the basic point is that government has dropped it because um, it's unpopular. Even though it went through cabinet, they've gone through parliament, they've retracted. All right, and now they are looking to negotiate with IMF on what they're clearly seeing that is going to be a shortfall. Let me start with you on this. Yes, my, my brother. Uh, sorry, uh, viewers. Uh, let me say a very good morning to you once again. I think uh, my brother Kofi Bento dragged us <laughs> through the woods very early, so let me apologize. I said very good morning to everyone. Uh, uh, Kofi, I think. I say Kofi. Um, I think. What has happened mm. is a clear testament of what Dr. Bahamia can do. <laughs> it's a bit funny. You see, when a government is bringing a policy, mm. the policy is developed, the finance ministry will set up the policy take it to our EMT, the Economic Management Meeting, mm. the Economic Management Committee yeah. Yeah. will clear the policy, then it goes to Cabinet. Cabinet clears the policy, then it goes to Parliament, mm -hmm. especially when it involves taxes, yeah. because the law says it's only Parliament that can pass a tax law. Yes. Now, this emission levy and VAT on electricity have gone through all these processes. Yes. Today, we have national executives of the ruling government, of the ruling party, on TV, on, on radio, telling us that they disagree with that taxes. Mm. Isn't that a good thing, though? Isn't that a positive sign? It is a positive sign, but it also tells you the huge disconnect between the government and the party. And the disrespect the disrespectful manner President Tekufuadu and Dr. Baumi has run this country in the last seven years. They don't respect anybody to the extent that even when they are bringing things that will affect we, the citizens, directly, they fail to do consultation. What consultation did they do on this emission tax, on this VAT on electricity, before they decided to introduce it in the budget? Who did they speak with? Who? Yeah, but, you know, Mensa, when you say that, then the question comes up, but Parliament passed it. Parliament represents the people. And that, if the people sat in Parliament... Legislation cannot replace consultation. No, but legislation... You know the time we do consultation. The legislators, the, the legislators represent the, pe no, the people. No, So they are no, there voting no, on behalf please. of the don't, people. Don't, don't mix it, please. Please. When bills go through Parliament... Mm. Parliament is there to look at it from different angles. Yeah. The job of Parliament is legislation. And so when you take a bill... And representation. But it is, their job is legislation. That's the, the core... They, they have four core jobs, and one of them the is core representation. Duty, the core duty, the representation, that's legislation. The core work of Parliament is legislation. They are called legislature. Their core duty is legislation. So if, if you take a policy or a bill to Parliament, Parliament looks at it from a legislative angle. But that does not replace consultation. You, the person introducing the bill or the policy, has a duty to consult, to do stakeholder engagement, and to ensure that the people who the bill or the policy is going to directly affect make input, that all concerns are addressed. So this is how President Kufad and Dr. Bamiya has lived with us for the last seven years. You wake up one day and they introduce any tax. They go, they dream, 
in their sleep and they see somebody uh, 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 driving an old car and some fume comes from the back of the car, they wake up, bidim. But we call Kenofrata emission tax. Let's go and take them. That's how they've been running this country. That is how they have been running this country. Yeah, but that's an that's an that's an unfair. What is unfair, my brother? Because that, that because is, we uh, know that we went to go and brother, sign up to the Paris brother, Accord, brother, and this is part of brother, the arrangement. That is a you know this, my brother. That is a vivid description of how this country has been governed in the last seven years. People sleep and have dreams, and in the dream they see somebody driving a a, 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 a car with smoke at the back. So he wakes up, he calls somebody at the finance ministry here. So, and got you a motor. so the Paris Accord was also a dream. My, my, my brother, I is Ghana the only country that have signed onto the Paris Accord. Even in the UK, the Paris clubs countries mm. eh, who are spearheading this Paris Accord, mm. do, do you know how they charge emission tax? In the UK, they have dedicated emission zones where if you drive a car. That place, they've dedicated this area. If the city FM area here, they've they've dedicated this place as a high emission zone. Okay. Oh, sorry, a low emission, emission zone. zone. So if you are driving a car that a smoky car, you can't drive it that area. If you drive it in that area, they, they will re record you and then they will bail you. It is not everybody that pays emission tax, even in the Paris Accord countries. And that is why I'm saying that if they had consulted, if they had done engagements. Mm. With civil society, yeah. with stakeholders, we would have pointed out all these models to them, and then they would have sat down and then come up with a proper policy that is peculiar to the system that we have. Mm. But because they don't respect us, they don't think we have anything to offer. They think they are the most smartest and intelligent people, and every Ghanaian is stupid. To the extent that if we, the people, you are coming to collect the tax from us, you are introducing a tax, you don't want to inform us, you don't want to engage with us. But I don't Sad understand when you, when you, when you say that, I don't understand it because it, it, it went brother, through I'm Parliament. I'm coming, parliament has committees, brother, they will discuss all these things. Everything goes to Parliament. Yes. yes. They will discuss all these the things first. The only reason why they took it to Parliament is because the law says they can't pass a tax law without Parliament. If, 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 if they could do this without going to Parliament, they would have done it. Haven't we done it? They, haven't they done things? Even things that are supposed to go to Parliament, some of them, they, 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 they don't take it. That is how Dr. Baumi and Kufuado has run this country. And my brother Kofi Bento says, No, but you are shooting yourself in the foot because you say there are some things they didn't take to parliament, my, which means they could have my, my brother, easily have avoided brother, parliament. I I'm not holding and they decided to go. I'm not holding a gun this morning, please. <laughs> I'm not shooting anything. <laughs> the point I'm making is that this is how Dr. Baumia and, and President Kufuado has run this country. They don't, they don't respect anybody. They think we are, the, and he says he's coming to speak. What is Dr. Baumia? My brother, let me make this point, it's very, very important. <clears throat> He should come and tell us in his address why they decide to introduce an emission levy in a country where we don't even have a developed electric car system, which is, a, which is what the promoters of this whole emission levy seek to do. Why we don't have all those mechanisms that allow us to achieve that kind of zero emission or low emission, but they still decided to come and hound on us an emission tax. They should come and tell us why in a country where in the same year you've increased VAT by 2.5%, which is a consumption tax, which is already driving your inflation now, and still decide that you are going to increase, put VAT Please wrap it up for me. on power, on electricity. Which is a key component in production, which is going to drive prices of goods and services. Yeah, but they've, 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 they've dropped it. You, now. It, 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 my, my, it's, but they've no, dropped it. it it's, it's not about dropping it. It's what about dropping it. Went, it's about where we are. What thinking went into it? Did you need TUC? Did, did you need labor? Do you need civil society? Do you need Ghanaians to come and tell you that this thing that you are bringing was bad? Why didn't you consult? You are the same person saying say they should I'm have saying, consulted. Why didn't you? Why, why did they, they consult? Because if they had consulted, they wouldn't have introduced that. That is why I'm telling you. Well, they say that, they are listening to the government. They so they've, heard, they've heard it they and then they've, they've they, dropped they, it. They, 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 they don't respect us. So now Dr. Baumia Wrap it up for me, please. has gone to beg them to withdraw VAT on electricity. Dr. Baumia, so you can get things done in this country.
So you can get things done. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Thank you very please, much. please don't cut me. It's very important. Let no, me send no. a message to the vice president. Dr. Baumia, so, you, so when this government is doing something that is wrong, so you can actually intervene. <clears throat> and we haven't heard anything of you. Okay, thank you. In all the mess that have been perpetrated in this country in the last seven years, Dr. Baumia, so you can actually get government to stop things it is doing. All right, thank you very much. And we haven't heard. Yeah. Now, <laughs> election year, you are beginning to intervene. Now, begin, now, we are beginning to see you. Dr. Baumia. Okay, we are yeah. waiting for you.